Cincinnati VA is on the mend. That is the word from a slate of top federal officials and even some of the very same whistleblowers who came forward one year ago this evening to tell the Scripps Washington Bureau and WCPO about widespread problems that put veterans at risk. Our senior national investigative correspondent Mark Greenblatt and WCPO's Dan Monk were invited inside to get a look for themselves at the transformation that remains ongoing. Veterans are very special to me because I'm one of them. Meet retired Army Colonel Vivian Hudson, the new director of the Cincinnati VA. How are things going for you so far since you've arrived? I'm loving it so far. And my staff are telling me that they're liking it. It's quite an about face from last February when 34 whistleblowers came forward complaining of rampant problems. I've seen uh, surgical instruments that once we open that sterile pack, they will have pieces of bone or other debris from previous surgeries still on the instrumentation. Many services are been devastated. But today... Yes, it's on the right track. Dick Freiberg used to run orthopedics, and he says things are changing. We've got dynamic, honest people running the hospital. Changes the new director says are making a difference. We have reconstituted orthopedic surfaces to a point that we can capture everything within our hospital. This VA now has three new orthopedic surgeons. That's quite a difference from last year when the VA had none. And patients were referred for care outside the hospital. But as for all those issues with surgical instruments... There has not been a problem in the two years that I've known, and, and prior to that, the documentation that I saw, nothing reached a veteran. There was no adverse outcome to a veteran. Our investigation found in the 2015 fiscal year, there were problems with surgical instruments that got sent to the OR in one out of every six operations, including broken, missing, and dirty items. The VA maintains there is no evidence that veterans were harmed. One growing area of concern, the hospital still cannot explain the rise last year in hospital-associated infections, like potentially deadly MRSA, where Cincinnati is ranked as one of the worst VAs in the country. Heading into this moment, you haven't at least been briefed on problems with MRSA. No, I have not. In terms of, uh, I did see the MRSA rates uh, as something that we needed to address, but I have not had the brief yet as to what's contributing to it and what actions we need to take. While officials remain on the hunt for the source of the rising infection rates, the hospital has begun using a new sterile processing lab and beefed up its oversight. The VA says results of a federal investigation related to the hospital's former chief of staff are expected within a week or so. Mark Greenblatt, Scripps News in Washington.